One really important technique when working with audio is to roll off bass frequencies. Low-end sound can build up, causing all kinds of problems in a mix. For a lot of human voices, frequencies below 300 Hz don't contribute significantly to the vocal timbre or overall tone. Are you okay, Robin? Is this guy bothering you? Oh, we're on first name basis now. Are you okay, Robin? Is this guy bothering you? What will occupy these frequencies is wind noise or accidental bumps to the microphone. Hey, Henry, how are you? Got something for you. How's the ARC project coming? If you leave these low end rumbles in, you can often end up with a muddy low end to your mix. By rolling off the low end using a high pass filter, you're really only losing unwanted sound. Well, there's my contribution to the cause. Don't forget to eat the food that's in the box. Hey, Henry, how are you? Got something for you. How's the ARC project coming? Now, of course, if you're mixing James Earl Jones. I, in my speech, and little blessed with a soft phrase of peace. You'll want to be careful not to lose any tonality by rolling off too much bass. So now, some nine moons wasted, they have used their dearest action in the tented field. And little of this great world can I speak more than pertains to feats of broil and battle, and therefore. Usually, anything below about 100 hertz is safe to cut. Professional subwoofers operate at 80 hertz and lower. So you'll ultimately want to save this frequency range for your shake the room effects and throbbing bass lines. Now, as we mentioned in a previous video, the best solution to sibilants and plosives is typically to ride the audio levels. But in more severe situations, EQ may be called for. Just a minute. <laughs> to alleviate sibilants and female voices, try notching in the six to eight kilohertz range. Welcome to Paradise Grill, sit anywhere you like. Welcome to Paradise Grill, sit anywhere you like. For males, look in the four to six kilohertz range. You have a scar on your knee. 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 Again, sweep to find the obnoxious frequency, then cut. But don't cut too much, or you'll give the actor a lisp and end up with a nasty legal letter from their agent. 